Hello everyone and welcome again in 8051 assembly language programming tutorials. In today's tutorial we are going to talk about the ADCs. Yes, as you may all know that in real world we have to sample the data which is not in digital format. So what we have to do, we have some external, we need to attach some external peripheral which will convert that analog signal to over desired digital signals and unfortunately the AT51 microcontroller like we are using AT89C51 microcontroller series do not come with the built-in ADC. So uh, we have to add some external peripheral and we are going to use ADC0831 or you may also use the other variations of this uh, ADC which is ADC 0832, 0834 and 0838. You can use any one of these with the same method that I am going to describe. But in today's lecture we are strictly focusing on the interfacing of ADC 0831. So we are going to talk about only about ADC 0831. So let's get started. Yes, first of all, we have to talk about the data sheet and uh, I am opening the data sheet of, from the Texas instrument and the key specification of this ADC is that the resolution is the 8-bit. So this is a very important whenever you are choosing some ADC, you need to be very clear how much bit resolution that ADC provide. So this is an 8-bit ADC which is perfectly suitable uh, because we are using our 8051 microcontroller which is also an 8-bit microcontroller. You, can uh, you may need some other uh, ADC resolutions like 12 bit, 16 bit, or 24 bit, or even 32 bit. But uh, most of the applications, you only need 8 bit resolution. So, this ADC is more than enough for your normal applications, unless you are going to deal with very precise analog signal and you need to uh, sample a really, really small uh, resolution so uh, you may need some higher bit resolution like 10 bit 12 bit or even 16 bit adcs but 8 bit adc is more than enough for more most of the applications in embedded systems so a single supply uh, so you do not have to provide the split supply all uh, you can do is uh, thus uh, you can use the same power supply which uh, come which you provide to your microcontroller so same uh, 5 volt vdc will be applied to this uh, adc low power only 15 uh, milliwatt will be used uh, and the second most uh, important parameter of any adc is the conversion time so this adc takes 32 microseconds to uh, perform a single um, conversion so if you are going to sample really really fast this also will become handy so these are the two main uh, features are uh, i think uh, three features a uh, five vo uh, the voltage of the uh, adc the bit resolution and the conversion time any uh, adc that you are going to choose you need to understand these three parameters and now if you come down and see the uh, a pin diagram of this ADC it is an 8-bit uh, package of uh, the dip uh, p dip package uh, p type and uh, the it uh, it has eight uh, pins uh, first is the CS which is the chip select pin uh, which uh, will active low it means that whenever you provide a zero on this pin this ADC will start functioning and if this pin is go uh, is high it means that you uh, this ADC will not perform its operations and these are two pins uh, positive V in and negative V in it means that you can also uh, change the lower end the negative end of the input signal so if you have some signal which do not reference uh, from zero or the ground uh, uh, zero uh, so you can attach the zero adjustment to this pin three pin but in today's lecture we are going to tie this three uh, num uh, pin number three to the four and four uh, together with the ground so three four are both ground and uh, pin number two is v in positive this is the pin where we are going to apply our analog signal and the adc will start uh, converting that 
any voltages from 0 to 5 volt uh, applied to the pin number 2. Uh, pin number 8 is VCC all you have to do is to tie this pin to the VCC pin number 5 this pin is the V reference pin it means that if you are going to uh, sample the input voltages below from the 5 volt you can uh, tie this pin to that reference pin so in today's lecture we are going to tie this pin also with the VCC and together these two pins will go to the positive 5 volt and the remaining pins pin number 7 6 and 1 uh, I have also talked I have previously talked about the pin number 1 which is chip, chip select pin number 7 and 6 is the data out and clock these are the two wires to communicate with this ADC so all you have to do is to uh, provide a clock and this ADC will give you a bet whenever you apply a clock the output will be provided so clock is active high it means whenever you apply one to the clock the adc will function so output will be on the a single bit of the on the pin of uh, pin number six data output pin so you have to apply 10 clocks that data sheet says that you need to provide the 10 number of clocks and you will be reading 10 bits but the first two bits will be discarded as they are of no use as per instruction to the data sheet of this microcontroller so let's dive into the coding and see how this all action works now I am in Proteus and I am going to create a simulation file to test quickly test the uh, coding that we are going to write in a while. First of all we need to 0831ADC and this is the 8 bit serial IO ADC. let's go to the coding for coding you need to open the notepad plus plus as we are used to doing this as before so let's bring in something all we are used to doing is uh, as originating and end let's name this file move to the location where you want to save this file name the file adc0831ex01.asm or whatever you like now first of all you need to do is to define the pins we have three pins which is clock and uh, cs which is chip select and do which is data output so let's say uh, not to confuse the cs with any one and uh, let's say cs1 to this and uh, do1 and clock1 okay so this is just not to confuse with any instruction of assembly so we need to go over simulation files and see what pins we are using for which pin and uh, CS is attached to the 3.7 so CS is attached to the P3.7 and the clock is attached with 3.6 
and same like the remaining pin data output is attached with the port 3.5 so we have defined our bits uh, to the in our main file now what uh, we can use these pins so let's create a quick delay functions of one register as you may already familiar with the delays um, so you can also copy paste or write the code as well I'm just going to write it quickly down so that's it for our uh, delay of one register we had completed our delay routine uh, one more thing uh, I need to mention here is that the instructions of 8051 which are not uh, re uh, highlighting in the notepad plus plus so what you can do to add these instruction into your instruction set all you have to do is to go to the settings style configurator and here you need to choose your assembly language and according to the instructions you need to define whatever you uh, your instruction is and after the plus sign user defined keywords you can add your own keywords like this uh, or you have to type the keywords in uh, small alphabet letters and as I type DJ and Z you are seeing that my instruction is highlighted so you can also define your uh, identifiers uh, or registers like this R0, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, SCON, SBUF and all the registers that you are going to use and for directive I am going to add the bit so save and close so now my instruction my assembly code is properly highlighted now we need uh, two more uh, va uh, variables one is for LEDs and as you may know that we had at uh, defined our LEDs on the port 2 and we need one more byte from general purpose RAM which is uh, we can use the 30 H address and for that variable we are we need that variable uh, to hold the converted value so if we need to convert uh, we need to read the value from the ADC and we need to hold that value into some variable so we need a variable uh, we are going to allocate a location or just naming our uh, location of our general purpose RAM and we are going to say M A ADC well you can name it any name you like and I'm going to add the 30 H which is our address of general purpose RAM first byte so uh, that's all for the definitions let's move into our main code and uh, write like this uh, the if you may already know this code now move to uh, read ADC 0831 function so in this function in this subroutine we are going to write over ADC reading code so how to read the ADC as I had mentioned before that you need to apply 10 clocks and read 10 bits so that's all for reading an ADC so how can you do this into according let's write a quick code and I got back to you after that so um, as you may know first of all we need to enable the uh, chip select so uh, how to enable the chip select is just to CLR that pin okay uh, so we are just going to CS1 CLR and apply a little knob so now over chip is selected so ADC is ready to perform and once we are done we need to disable this chip select so all we have to do is to apply a set bit on the CS1 so now over uh, ADC is disabled again so these are two operations that we need to perform before and after the conversion or actual conversion of over desired analog value so in between as I had told you that we need to apply a uh, some clock bits so we need to do some looping again so we are saying ADC a uh, loop here and all I we are going is DJ and Z and we are decrementing some register let's select B for it and uh, 
loop to the ADC loop again. So before uh, putting uh, into the loop, what we need to do is to uh, fill our B register with uh, some number, let's say nine, we are going to loop this over nine times and zero to nine is equal to the 10. So what we are going to do within the loop, first of all, we need to apply a clock, which will be single knob in, uh, in between the negative and positive. So be because the clock is active high, so we need to perform uh, the uh, clock to the set bit and uh, apply a little knob and then go back to the uh, zero on the clock. So this is our clock for uh, now once we had applied clock over uh, value is ready on the data output pin so how to read that value because it is only one bit we can use our carry bit for uh, to help or uh, in this and we can move over uh, the value of the da data output uh, pin to, uh, to move the web to, uh, to read and move the value on in the carry bit and once our desired bit is in the carry we can all uh, do is rotate left carry so we can uh, rotate in the a register this carry so uh, the ca the actual bit is in the carry and carry is rotated leftwards and leftwards remember leftwards so uh, the carry is uh, rotated leftwards into the A register. So our bit stream is forward from right to left. Okay. So now our uh, bit is in the A register. So we need to do this 10 times. So we are repeating this loop. So once our loop is done, we are good to uh, go and our desired value is in a register so uh, we can move over a register to the over uh, over desired variable of the ADC which is M ADC well so and now we can safely return from the function and here all we have to do is to call this and in let's add some a call and jump instruction to our style configurator and, and i get back to go to the settings uh, style configurator and uh, cpu instructions add uh, sjmp a call l call l jump a jump jump and uh, i think it's all for now and uh, read the ADC and once uh, we have completed our reading we can move the value into the A register of the M ADC well and uh, we can move uh, these value to the over desired LED port and all we can do is LEDs and A so now over value is in the on the LED port and we can simply call to uh, delay to we are calling delay to just to uh, debounce the uh, next conversion so one register delay is not enough I had added a delay to of two registers uh, uh, both registers are filled with 255 values so you can check other lecture if you are not familiar with the delay you uh, you may need to watch my lecture of led blink tutorial if you are not familiar with that tutorial before so that's all for our uh, program of adc reading go to the com uh, command prompt and let's compile with the asemw space your file name with dot asm extension and it prompts no error come to your simulation file load your simulation file like this I had done before and now just play and 
oh uh, i forgot to do one thing which is to invert the a value okay so because we are uh, using uh, over leds in inverted form we need to cpl over a register before moving to the actual uh, port so what we need to do here is to before moving a register to the leds we need to cpl over a register so a, it the benefit of moving the value into the a register is we can easily uh, cpl a register we cannot cpl other registers so we can do this with the a register and um, once we are done now over zero is uh, means that leds are off so here you can see that over potentiometer is uh, on the zero and over voltages on the pin v in pin is almost zero and over leds are off and once we will higher over potentiometer it will uh, raise the voltages value on the potentiometer it should be applied to the um, LEDs but it is not done let's figure out what is the error why the LEDs are not working like this as okay so uh, let's figure out let's troubleshoot our code uh, so everything seems fine uh, let's try uh, applying a knob here as well after the clock and let's see if we need to apply this clock as well uh, uh, a little bit delay I guess no it is not working as expected so come back to the code and see if all other things are fine as well we are decrementing over B register and if it is not zero we are moving to the ADC loop and after we are applying a knob CS1 knob and 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 uh, everything seems fine but here we are uh, having some uh, logical errors uh, which is we are moving over value from m adc well into the a so this is not right we need to move the a value into the m adc well register so all we have to do is to uh, switch these instructions and uh, let's compile our code again and go back into our simulation and if we play the simulation this time and yes our uh, uh, ADC value is converted and properly uh, applied to the uh, LEDs so if we increment over potentiometer voltages if we raise the voltages across over potentiometer uh, you will see that over LEDs well uh, the value of the uh, 8 bit converted ADC value on LEDs will increase as well so if we go all to the uh, positive 5 volt all LEDs will be on it means the 255 and if we come down all uh, the way to the 0 volt all LEDs should go off uh, which means is the converted value of 0 so that's all for the conversion and the simulation and the code